Morning Brews, how are you? It's been a while, right? Again, so I apologise. Um, I'm here for an impromptu uh, brew day today. I've not done a brew for ages. I've been sorry to touch. Um, I've just been setting up the brew tools, uh, B80, with the water. Um, I've not even picked a recipe yet. I don't know what I'm doing. So, I've got loads of pale, some crystal, probably some East Kent Gold and some Fuggles and various other bits and pieces. So, uh, the water's warming up. I've not even got a recipe. So, I'm going to have a quick flick through that. The camera book and the Bible. See if I can find something. Otherwise, I'll just have to fudge it. It'll have to be, a, I don't know, Fudgington's Bitter. It's probably a local bitter for someone in Yorkshire. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see, it's going to be a surprise. Uh, I've not even got access to this tripod for very long today. Um, little girl's got a Zoom dance class, so she's going to be using it. So I'll try and get some footage, maybe I'll even just kind of cobble this together with a, with a drink uh, at the end and turn it into a grain of glass possibly. Uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I'll try and grab some footage, it might be a bit shaky, you know, but um, ne never mind. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll make the best of a bad situation, so cheers. Hard stuff today, coffee, and I'll see you in a bit. Looking good, guys. We're looking good. Circulating over the grain bed, obviously. So circulating around the malt pipe. The valve in the uh, fiber pot position. Jobs are good in. The end of the mash. Lovely and clear water at the moment. So uh, onto the sparge. Right, we're reaching boil, so I'm going to get. The boil hop edition in, uh, which is, yeah, I'm doing a double batch, so this is going to be 60 grams of golden and 60 grams of styrian goldens. So in we go. Now I'm going to get the steam condenser on. Here's in action, it's a 90 minute boil. Um, I've got a 10 minute hop edition, which is going to be. Uh, 40 grams of styrian golden. Remember, we're doing a double batch here, so two times 23 liters. Um, get my protoflock tablets in uh, around that time. Start circulating around the counter for a chiller. Get it cooled. Get it pitched. Um, so I'm going to cut the video here, and then I'm going to see you for the tasting um, shortly, I guess. Bye bye. Here we are, a mere four weeks after pitching. Um, we're ready to taste Timothy Taylor's landlord. So, the recipe was from the camera, Brew Your Own British Ale book. Uh, highly recommended, by the way. And, where's the tasting notes? Probably should have had the page open, really. Here we go, Timothy Taylor's Landlord, or Timmy Taylor's, depending on where you're from. A superb beer of enormous character and complexity. Stunning, mouth-filling, multi-layered interweaving of malt and hop with an intense hop and fruit finish. So we'll see. I say we'll see, I've already drunk it. I've already drunk some of it. I couldn't wait. So let's just top that up. Okay, there we go. Not much head on it, um, to be honest, but so it goes. Very clear, I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm probably going to spill it. A kind of dark straw bordering on copper, light copper maybe. It really is a good beer. I mean, I'm not gonna go into any kind of pretentious beer notes or anything like that. I'm, I'm not a beer taster. <laughs> I did a couple of videos once and uh, they, they weren't great. Um, it, it's just a really, really good beer. Unfortunately, I've never had Timothy Taylor's Landlord to compare it to. Um, so, I don't know how close that recipe comes to the mark, but, Given that it's a camera book, I imagine it's not far off. <laughs> and yeah, this is this is just such a really nice kind of sessionable beer. I think it's about 4.2, if I remember rightly. 
Um, I think it's what, eight and a half kilograms of pale, 60 grams of black malt. Um, and if you recall, I, I did a double batch. So I went for two times 23 liters. So really, really simple grain bill. Really simple hot bill as well. So we had Goldings and Styrian Goldings in there. Um, so super, super easy. And I can't, I can't believe how quickly it fermented. It literally fermented out in like three days. And I left it a little bit longer, but it, it had already done. So I just left it to kind of all settle down. Um, you know, but yeah, I, I kegged it after five, six days. The only reason I left it really is because I, <laughs> I didn't have time to keg it, but um, yeah. And let any kind of remaining sediment settle, I suppose is my excuse. But there you go, four weeks, totally drinkable, totally carbonated in its own time. My kegerator's set at, or my keys are set at 10 PSI, so I don't force carb it or anything like that. It's cleared beautifully, again, as you can kind of see, or hopefully see. You know, good body, not too mouth filling, I wouldn't say. Uh, like I said, my filling on the description, but you know, it's not thick. It's it's just kind of medium body bodied, I would say. Um, yeah, it's, I definitely definitely recommend it. Like I said, for such for such a simple grain bill and hot bill, you cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong with this. I mean, it's 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 borderline a smash beer. I know it's obviously not, but. Um, you know, cause it's, cause it, just because it's so basic. Um, anyway, so there you go. I came back, I did a grain to glass, my first one. So sorry if it's a bit rubbish, but um, you know, <laughs> I'm spinning plates with work and kids and, and home life and everything at the minute. So cheers, take care of yourself. If you did like the video, please continue to support me. I appreciate those subs that keep ticking up and up and up. So very much appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, give the video a like if you liked it, and if not, then like it twice or something. Uh, Alright, take care. Bye-bye.